Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm going to talk to you about these cream charger nitrous oxide flasks. They're an aluminium flask and you can get steel ones as well. These have both been discharged and uh, the nipples or the valves have been removed. They're eminently recyclable. These are top quality aluminium and the other stuff's top quality steel. I don't know what top quality means. Aluminium and steel. They've got a brass nipple inside them, a brass valve. That's recyclable too, and they've got a, some of them have a sticker, some of them have a label, uh, wrap, shrink wrap on them. Either way, we'll show you how to scrap them out. If this is your kind of content, hit subscribe, and if you like the video at the end or any way through it, just hit us up with a like, it lets me know what you want to see. These things, in my neighbourhood and around, around my neighbourhood, they're everywhere, and I've been picking these up off the street for a week now, and this little bit you'll see, that many tops there, half a kilo of them is just one week of not going out of my way to pick them up and so I've spent 30 minutes scrapping these out and I'm a few quid richer stick with me let me know what you think in the comments below here it comes these things these things are gas bottles they contain food grade nitrous oxide N2O it's a gas that you can inhale and it does something to you. I've never done it, so I don't know. Um, it enlightens you temporarily. I think they give it to you in hospital, the medical grade, whenever you're getting gas and air. I think I have had that kind, so I presume it's basically the same, but this isn't produced under the same strict quality controls. There, in here is about 20 or 30 bottles. I've picked these up off the street in my neighborhood in the last week. Yeah, yeah, within the last week, actually. Um, I've got an older one there, but all the ones in the box in the bag here I've picked up in the last week. I'm going to scrap them out to get the brass nipple off the top, clear the plastic off them, so I'll wind up with so I'll wind up with an aluminium flask like this. And this is eminently recyclable, and it's worth at the moment about fifty to sixty p. So you multiply that, you're up to twenty odd quid in the two bags, a little bit more perhaps. And that's from a week of me not going out of my way, but just whenever I see litter of this nature on the ground, I pick it up. There is another kind. It's the same thing. It's this cream charger stuff, but it's the same N2O nitrous oxide in a can. But these are welded steel flasks. They have a value, but it's not as much. They're heavier, but steel isn't worth as much as aluminium, so... They're, whether they're worth picking up it's up to you but if you're picking them up anyway and you're doing this job anyway maybe it is worth it i've focused on the aluminium ones for the last week and passed over a load of the steel ones maybe i should pick up both so i've just weighed the steel one and it weighs about a kilo and a half so if you take that by the price of steel you're up to 20 to 30p so about well less than half the price of these roughly but the reality is it's still good money so maybe they're worth picking up too anyways i've focused on aluminium i'm going to scrap through all these and talk nonsense for a few minutes Stay tuned. My setup here is quite simple. I've got a packer in the bottom, which is just another flask. Then I'll tighten that in, not too tight. Take off the plastic nipple if there is one, because we don't want that. It's um, maybe recyclable, I don't know. If the plastic thing was in there and it was screwed down tight, then there's probably no gas in it. If you push it with a screwdriver or something small, it'll let the gas out if there is any. If they're full of gas, you can let it out. Um, it's up to you. Then I've got a breaker, a little ratchet bar with a 15 mil socket on it, and that gets it off. What I found is if you're doing it with a spanner, they're, they can be quite tight at the start, especially in the steel ones. So you need to be able to loosen that off and get a proper grip, like that won't turn by hand yet. So using a socket is the way to go. And then there you go. I'll weigh up all of these guys at the end and see what we wind up with. I suspect the scrapyard would take it with the plastic on, but if you run a Stanley knife down it, it just comes off like that. And we do it again. Now I'm just thinking this is wasting my time here. So I'm wondering, could I drill this off with an electric drill, given that I've got so many of them? Might give that a go. So 
So another one. Another one. Oh, that was a bad idea. Even though it had the plastic thing on, it still had some gas in it. I need to watch out for that because my chest is in the way. That was a bad idea. Hey, okay. should have spotted that. So that's down tight this time, but let's check it with the pin again. So that one's okay. Dangerous. Some of them come out easier than others. Some of them are filthy. That's empty. Let's cut it. That one's really tight. I guess that depends on the machine that put them in. So what's the point in doing this? Well, is it a good idea for civics or something? It's really tight. Let's see if the driller got it now. It's good to tidy up your neighborhood, I think. So I don't know why that one's so, so tight, but it is. If I could get into a nice rhythm here, it'd be far easier, but when it's like that and you can't take some of them out, well, that's kind of what we're up to. Did I check that one? Too late now. So that one's got gas in it. A bit, anyways. a bit but not much like there's no weight in it compared to a full one I don't know if you noticed, but the tip of the screwdriver froze and then defrosted while I was doing that. Some of them just come out and other ones don't. I don't know what the difference is. So I'd love to tell you I'm getting high on the gas here or something, but uh, the reality is that I can't taste it at all.
empty. I think if you were running it with an impact driver, you could have these out very, very quickly. So why this one's stiff and the other one isn't, I don't know. But it is. I think these are an absolute crime because they're non-refillable, disposable. Disposable, but solid aluminium. What they do is, this is an example here, there's a balloon end there. You put a balloon onto it, fill up the balloon, and uh, that lets you put the gas into your body through your mouth. One seen better days. So they don't like these in scrapyards if if the stopper is in because then they could be a pressure vessel. They're still a pressure vessel, but they could be pressurized. You don't want to deal with that. That's fair enough. So all the plastic I'm taking off, I believe that if I left the plastic on, then when they go to the scrapyard to be recycled, that would either come off in the fragmenter if they're chopped up, and that would be bad. It would be bad for the environment. But what I can do is bring it to a supermarket. Most supermarkets now in the UK, big ones anyways, have facilities for recycling plastic bags and wrappers. And as far as I can tell, this is exactly what these things are.
This one has the thing broken off it, the plastic nozzle is broken off up here. I'm inclined to check them all since that first little release of gas. Just in case they pop on me. Check them all with the screwdriver, I mean. some of them are all torn up like that is because when people throw them out of car windows which I think is the preferred location of choice for drinking this stuff that one's been misthreaded so there might be something in this bottle nope At first, oh, there's a lot in there. Might set that one aside. I'm not entirely sure what to waste this. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there is a lot in there. It doesn't have any real weight. You see, it's quite a funny one. So it says the tear is 600 grams. The weight is 580 grams. So what does this one weigh? On this uh, most accurate of scales. So that one weighs about 700 grams, so there could be 100 grams of stuff in it. I'll set that one aside for uh, experimental use, you see. I've never, I don't know what's in it like, so. So what's the tear weight then, if we're roughly on zero there? They have, yeah, they're 600 gram bottle. So there's five. So 30, 32 bottles there, 32 bottles, 32 times 0 0.6, so it's 19.2 kg, and multiply that I think by 800 or something like that. You have to multiply it by the price of aluminium, basically. But uh, I think we're up on about 15 quid there. 15, 16 pounds. Let's check out what the brass weighs, because it won't weigh much. Let's bring the scale back in here. Put a plate on top. A bowl. Set that back to roughly zero. Half a kilo of brass. That's worth about one or two pounds, depending on where you go to the scrapyard. 150 maybe. Not a bad little haul, so 150 plus 16 is 17.50. That's just stuff I've been picking up off the ground for a week. Um, basically while doing shopping and going to school, you know? Um, weird as can be. So if you're a kid and you see this stuff out and about, pick it up and scrap it and get your parents to bring it to the scrapyard. They won't appreciate it, but you'll be rich. Uh, they might appreciate that. It's entrepreneurial and whatnot and demonstrates a bit of the entrepreneurial spirit. It's quick money, really. Um, some scrapyards, well, that's actually, it's all solid brass. There's probably a little metal spring in it, but I don't think they'd worry too much about that. There you go. It's basically solid gold, isn't it? It's all money. Tell me what you think.
Tell me how society is rubbish, useless and destroyed. Questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like, all that stuff's appreciated. Thanks for watching, see you later.